Thank you for taking a look at the Trilio Vault for Kubernetes OpenShift Edition demo video. Let's dive in and take a look at how to install via the OpenShift dashboard. Trilio Vault has been certified by Red Hat for inclusion in the OpenShift Operator Hub. By searching for Trilio Vault in the certified operators, you can install Trilio with a few clicks. We're going to install Trilio Vault at the cluster level so that all namespaces can access backup functionalities and automatically approve updates for the latest functionality. Once we've installed in the UI, we can switch to the command line to validate the install by checking for the Trilio Vault CRDs and pods. Now, let's take a look at operating Trilio Vault. Our first step is to define a backup target. We're going to use AWS S3 for this demo. Of course, we'll need an app to back up to that target. So let's take a look at the pods to see what's running. At any time, we can check on the status of our backup target custom resource. While we're waiting for the target validation to happen, we should define a backup plan to tell Trilio Vault what, when, and where to backup to. By performing a describe on the backup plan that we created, we can see the specifics of the plan, including the monthly full and daily incremental backups. These backups will include all resources that match the label Kate's demo app in the namespace titled demo source. It should be noted that Trilio can also protect Helm and operator-based applications for the ultimate and backup power. Once this is complete, we're ready for our first backup. Let's apply our YAML to create a backup and then verify its configuration, check its status, and take one more deep look with a describe to see the logs. The last step in the process is to restore our newly created backup. Let's perform a restore operation to a different namespace in the same cluster, one called demo target. We should check to see if there are any applications existing here prior to the restore. We're going to apply the following YAML file which specifies the backup plan that we previously used for the backup and the namespace that we want to restore to. If we don't provide a specific point in time, we'll restore from the latest good one. Additionally, the inclusion of the tried and true skip if already exists flag is fully supported. Now, let's create that restore and check its state by doing a describe. I've condensed the time frame here, but this restore completed in just over two minutes. Last, we'll check to make sure that our restored pods are up and running in the new namespace. This has been a tour of Trilio Vault for Kubernetes OpenShift Edition. Thank you for watching.